Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great day. And as always, thanks to everybody that has subscribed. Um, I'm really looking forward to this track. Um, this is the second one I on my channel from Split Ends. Um, and I believe it was probably from around about the same time as the previous one, which was a message to my girl. I really enjoyed that as the only other song I'd heard prior to that was I Got You, which um, I think was in the UK Top 40, uh, probably in the same year, 1980, although I could be wrong. Um, and I probably do a revisit with that because it's so vague in my mind that I can't really kind of think how it probably goes. But yeah, so this is a track called One Step Ahead, taken from the album, and I'm going to see if I can pronounce this right, so forgive me if I don't. It's taken from the album Why Way Aita, Way Aita, which is spelt W A I A T A. Um, this is a Maori word, I believe, for song. Um, and this was released November 1980. It had a moderate success in Australia, it peaked at number five, and in New Zealand, it peaked at number six. Um, split in and split ends consists of. Tim Finn on vocals, Neil Finn on vocals and guitar, Noel Crombie on percussion, Malcolm Green on drums, Nigel Griggs on bass, Edward Rayner on vocals and keyboards. Um, I believe this is the official video, so if this gets blocked, I will come back and react to the maybe a vinyl version or a live version. Um, but we'll see. So touch wood, um, it doesn't get blocked and um, Hopefully, uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to this. I've never seen or heard this song before, so this is totally a first reaction. I'm just going to pause it there. Hopefully, uh, um, this will protect me for copyright purposes and stuff. But I just really wanted to say that I love the way this song began uh, because it kind of made me. Um, it was very sort of similar to "Message to My Girl." Um, I love the way that I think it's Neil Finn, the singer, the way he just drifts along the sets, and um, and to be honest, it the whole thing feels very organic. It feels earthy. The melody just flows seamlessly through the peaks and troughs and um, the vocals are, and, and and the melodies just all kind of mingling together. It's, it's, there's, some, there's a real um, magic about, I mean, I know that they went on to become Crowded House and, and, and a few of the Crowded House songs I've heard contain the same kind of magic as, as this does. It, in, in fact, it just feels very, um, it feels very, mm, uh, mystical and I mean and the nature of the songs that aren't mystical but there is a feel about it that it's very dreamlike uh, that's the word I'm kind of looking for um, but it's a beautiful melody as well I mean you can have dream like sequences and films that feel 
very um, edgy and, um, and dark, but this feels quite light, although I feel that the subject material is it's probably a bit more subdued. Uh, I'm really loving this. This is such a beautiful, beautiful song. Um, they're really, really, really good at doing what, what they do with these songs. And um, apart from uh, the, um, uh, I think it was um, uh, I Got You, which which had a different feel about it, but um, they, they can kind of switch from that edginess straight to a love, beautiful melody. This is what I love about this band. And um, I'm not sure how many albums they made, but this is great. <laughs> That was really really cool i mean really cool that was uh split ends with one step ahead and i love the way it just sort of slowed down at the very end um yeah that, that was such a cool track um i imagine that i think these these guys come from new zealand am i right um but i just imagine that back there they were so cool um in that neck of the woods in australia new zealand um they were probably the band back then. I mean, you had a, a, a your Australians had the ACDC, but um, but this is something different. Um, fabulous track, fabulous track. Uh, I, I'm I'm kind of getting the songs about a relationship. So uh, I guess could it be linked to a message to my girl? I've um, not really kind of thought about it too much. It's been a long time since I reacted to that, so. Um, if there is a theme, please let me know. If there is a link between the two tracks, uh, yeah, let me know. So I'm going to dive straight into the lyrics. I think I spoke about the melody in the song. In between, I loved the how the keyboards. Um, I just loved the, or, the organic feel of the song in general. Uh, but yeah, straight to the lyrics. Um, One step ahead of you, stay in motion, keep an open mind. Love it is a race, one by two. Your emotion, my solitude. If I could, if I stop, I could lose my head. So I'm losing you instead. Either way, I'm confused. You slow me down. What can I do? There's one particular way I have to choose. So is he? Uh, am I? Am I right in thinking that he's moving maybe a little bit too quickly in a relationship, and he's not? Evan uh, is not reading the room. So, um, and I think in relationships, it's, it's easy to jump ahead we see this in you actually see this in a lot of soaps uh i was uh, watching uh i'm just sort of going off on tangent i was watching a bit of an old eastenders the other day and uh and one of the characters um was with a girl and you're thinking you kind of need to stop and calm it down and really in a bit um so i think that's what's happening here i think it's it's the first verse is about trying to keep in trying to keep in step with the person you're with so you can grow together if one grows too quickly or one pushes too quickly then the whole thing kind of collapses one step ahead of you always someone makes it hard to move she says boy i want you to stay but i save it for all for another day if i could stop i lose my head but i'm ready for romance, either way, I'm confused. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Only I can stay one step 
one step ahead of you. Um, stop, I confess, sometimes I don't know where I'm going. Part of me stays with you. I'm slowing down. What can I do? Yeah, I mean, as I said, a general feeling of the song kind of continues along the same lines, which is um, it's, it's just about understanding the person in front of you. It's it's a little bit like a com when you have a conversation with someone and you talk to the person, they talk to you, but one of you is not listening because one of you has already has their next sentence lined up in their head. So like I'm having a conversation and, and when I talk to that person, they talk back, but I, I haven't heard a word they said because I'm already thinking about what I'm going to say next. And I guess that's the same in relationships where if you stop and you listen to the other person, if you have your moments where you soak up the atmosphere and try and read what's going on, then um, you can stay one step ahead in terms of understanding that person, or you can blindly make your move at, with the risk of literally stepping one step ahead, going one step ahead and losing the person. Uh, good song, um, such, a cool, such a cool sound. And I guess this song wasn't so much about the lyrics, it was about the way the vocals and the harmonies and the the uh, the synths uh, all mixed in with each other. And that there's that uh, sort of like a droning bass right the way through it, which which kept the momentum going on. Um, in, in hindsight, it felt beautiful, but I think uh, it was at, at at such a pace that it was meant to feel a little bit subdued as well. So yeah, brilliant song, great song. I really, really enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it too. Please join me in the comments below if you have any thoughts and ideas about this song um, or about this band. And if you have any suggestions of what to listen to next, um, then I am very open to that. So till next time, take care of yourself, have a great day and uh, have a great week.